The Pakistani government announced a major crackdown on illegal migrants in the country, particularly more than 1.7 million Afghans residing there to leave. Pakistani authorities set a deadline of November 1st for migrants, most of whom are Afghan, to depart the country. They have emphasized the seriousness of consequences for those who do not comply. More recently, after the Taliban regained power in 2021, Pakistani officials say between 600,000 to 800,000 Afghans migrated to Pakistan. The government has set up deportation centers in all four Pakistani provinces to detain foreigners until they are sent back. Pakistan has been a significant country of immigration in South Asia, with majority of its migrants hailing from neighboring Afghanistan since the Soviet invasion of the country in 1979. The country's caretaker interior minister, Safraz Bhakti, said the crackdown was not aimed at Afghans and would apply to all nationalities. The deportation order comes during a traumatic surge in armed attacks in Pakistan, which the government blames on Afghanistan-based groups and nationals, allegations denied by the Afghan Taliban. Bhakti further added that the government planned to confiscate the property and assets of illegal migrants and would set up a special phone line to offer rewards to members of the public who tip off authorities about such migrants. Ubaidullah Safi, an executive member of the International Association of Afghan Professionals, highlights that a significant number of those facing deportation were born and raised in Pakistan and were not given sufficient time to wrap up their lives and businesses and relocate them to Afghanistan. Many of those who are forced to return to Afghanistan are born and raised in Pakistan. They have never seen Afghanistan. They are going to a country which will be uh, strange uh, to them. Many have well-established businesses, houses and other investments in that country and surely by any norms and standards, they deserve to be afforded ample time and opportunity to wind up their businesses, sell their properties and transfer their wealth to Afghanistan.